This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review and today Vortex from Jinbao Oversize Bruticus, the uh, more stylized version, bigger version. Um, so this is part three of my series on the this, uh, this set. Uh, great representation, very stylized, um, can't complain. Um, he stands pretty good, uh, but they all have is standing issues. Like honestly, it's uh, on a shelf, I wouldn't trust them individually. I haven't combined them yet, so I don't know how stable uh, Bruticus is going to be, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. So this is a very good uh, you know, representation, I feel. So yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, completing this series because yeah, I'm power shooting and it's been like a day of six reviews. Plus, I did uh, two more, so eight videos. Yeah, it's a long day. Uh, but thanks for uh, stopping by. I always appreciate the support. Before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Here we are with Vortex. Uh, he's colorful, you know, gray purple, classic Decepticon colors. Uh, he's very fidgety, like stuff don't doesn't really clip extremely well. Uh, but I mean, he does the job, you know. Um, can't complain too much. Um, it's a good representation of a helicopter. Uh, not the most cartoon accurate blast uh, Vortex, but you know, looks good. I uh, like the uh, translucent yellow, the, you know, the uh, light piping, again, very thin light piping uh, that you can get. Uh, the, the gray, the gunmetal on the, you know, on the side, silver here at the tie, uh, the black joints, uh, you, you know, and then the knee covers are the landing gears, uh, gunmetal here, a little purple on the toes. Yep, looks good. I mean, yeah, sure, there's panels everywhere. And all of his accessories, they get in the way of the transformation. So even the blades, take them off. Uh, we reviewed the uh, the colors, the paint. Uh, let's do articulation. R head rotation, no problem. You have your Ferris wheel, no problem. The arm extends all the way here. Uh, you have a rotation underneath the bicep or at the bicep. You have a knee bend, uh, knee bend, elbow bend, no problem. Uh, you do have a rotation at the hand. I'm getting Facebook messages. I hope you guys don't hear that. Um, yeah. The hand, again, like the others, four fingers all open up together. You do not have an ab crunch. You have a rotation uh, for your uh, merry-go-round, no problem. Uh, this guy... Uh, here it just it doesn't clip eh? so it just sits there so be careful um, and the legs same thing the cover here they just kind of clip uh, they don't clip they just sit there uh, you do have a very nice uh, Johnny Cage does he stand with it yes he does all right you have your rotation at the tie a okay knee bend uh, Tight ratchet, come on. Tight ratchet, kick back. Lift the skirt. Tighter ratchet, kick forward. There you go. And after that, you have uh, the. Well, okay, this this gets in the way. Like it, you can remove them, I guess. But <clears throat> when you do the, the 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 helicopter mode, this has to move in three piece. So it's kind of hard to get a good. But it is pretty stable, you know, stands nice. Uh, you don't get a rocker, you have a back and forth uh, rotation left and right, uh, but the, the individual heel and toes do move downward. So there you go. And here, when you transform him, uh, 
you put uh, the, like this part goes up but when you put it back down it doesn't clip but you can put this here underneath and sometimes it sticks sometimes it doesn't but just to give it a little uh, is this backward nope yeah it's weird anyway just a little something I do with this guy uh, our accessories accessories here the cannon you can extend and you know give them a gun but uh, there's not enough clearance you know so don't do that what you want to do is use one of the side peg and put it here as a shoulder cannon both of them and that that looks good and that's what you're gonna do also in helicopter mode so yeah uh, that's interesting this is his gun which is the whole you know gunship uh, cannon or whatever uh, and then it goes in the hand and again same thing with the because of the way it's shaped it's not straight so you know but it works and he's holding it and he's not going well he's a little back heavy with it not back heavy forward heavy uh, but it works and the blades I'm gonna put them after uh, during transformation because they're so in the way but you know the you can be very gentle or super rough with these things but they go in and then you push them in and then you put them in the way you want the direction you want so but when you want to pull you have to pull hard and this is supposed to go here the clips there you go that's your back cleans up really nice too no waffles no holes you know there's Plenty of uh, panel covers, uh, big out of a hole here, you can see the whole way through. Uh, like I said, this is not clipping. Uh, no, colors are nice, articulations are nice, and the transformation is just, just a bit loopy. I'm gonna use the word loopy. So there you go, uh, Vortex. Let's do a quick comparison again with, come on, there you go. Uh, Vortex with Masterpiece Sideswipe uh, MP12 Plus. Uh, again, this is bigger than Masterpiece to me because these in mainline would both be deluxes. Uh, so they'd be about the same size, but this is uh, like two head taller. So yeah, oversized is bigger than Masterpiece. So, all right, transformation, which again, I've practiced. Uh, I'm gonna give you a recommendation. Remove all accessories. Remove this. Remove this. Remove all this. Remove the blades. Because it's annoying as hell. Alright, first thing, uh, the hands. Oh yeah, just if you have the instructions. And if you're looking at the instructions and you're like, here, you know, okay, why do they want me to move? Like, that's what I thought. Like, why, why am I rotating the blades? No, it's like, open the panel for the, 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 the hand and put it, put the hand inside. So that's, could have, that could have been done so much better. But anyway, so open the panel, put the hand in. Do the same thing on the other side. You don't have to remove this, but you know, it's just a little accessory that you clip on. Actually, I don't think I've shown this. Basically, it's just uh, two little missiles and you have two holes going those two pegs. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, this you lift and the head stays there. And then you take this and you... Uh, there you go, you have to... And the head you wanna, cause it, it gives you the, um, you know, like details here. Uh, I don't know, like air vents. Yeah, those are kind of air intakes. So anyway, so you have this kind of look. Uh, then you want to, oh yeah. You have to take this and put it downward. And then you hear that nice click. That's cool. Uh, you're gonna do the arms at the end. And, and it took me a, you know, a moment to figure it out. So what you want to do for the legs, you want to take this and just move them out of the way. The instruction says to do it afterward. Trust me, you want them out of the way. Because you have to take this here 
and line it, turn everything around so that you have like a smooth surface, smooth line. And then you clip those together and then you put these down. And after that, you clip these and you put these two peg holes over those two pins like that. Uh, you have a bit of a hole here, but it's going to be covered with the hand. So after that, you, you know, they tell you to do the whole tail thing, but do the ends. Um, you want to put the joint downward like this, and then you want to extend uh, like that. And then you fold it. And no, nope. uh, no, no, no. And then here you have to keep this joint like this, but you want to move this piece like that so that from the front you know moves outward and then you take this you put it here and you see that little hole there you want to slot this in there but it doesn't really peg well but it's there you know so it gives you a smoother uh, wing on a helicopter anyway uh, this nope there you go extend that Put it here so now the little missiles on the side are you know going forward or pointing forward looks good so far so good so and then you take the gun and add it again or you can put them you know elsewhere if you want to uh, but I think this this is a good look and it's my figure all right and there you go uh, don't do the blades yet you want to take this piece here and there's a peg hole here and you just put it like that there you go so this gun doesn't move so the gunship is you know always with this I don't know you have the uh, landing gear here uh, we'll get to that well right now uh, there you go you have the landing here like that well, that's pretty cool landing gear is always a bonus for me I like that uh, then you're gonna take your uh, wings that we've removed earlier and you're gonna want to glue them together put this down but the thing is that when you move this sometimes the peg will move so it took me a while to figure out that this was like two joint so it wouldn't fit but now it does and then you just kind of peg it here I don't really like the look at this at the end I'm not a pilot I'm not a helicopter expert but this looks kind of goofy but it turns so that's cool and then all you have to do afterwards it add the blade don't be afraid to push you know there you go and now this one's on the wrong side and depending on which way you want it to turn and you have to be I made a mistake the first time and I don't know what it was but this wouldn't turn uh, but you can see it when it turns it's so close to this and if you want you can try to you know time it but good luck fantastic gunship fantastic I like this and I've, I'm not a military guy, but when I play Civilization, I do love the when I get to the stage of the gunship, because they're so cool. And it reminds me of the first Hulk movie with Eric Bana, when they're, you know, going after the Hulk and they're moving super fast and shooting everything. Love it. Oh, yeah. And then you can have, I don't know, he doesn't, he doesn't have extra guns. No. So there you go. So that's Vortex. All right. And now for the, I, I guess, the fun part. We're gonna put this guy into an arm. Vortex! Transformation into an arm. So you take this, and from what I understand, you peel this down, and you rotate, like good luck with the blades, again. And you put it downwards like this. So, okay, well, they're facing this way, but... Yeah, this is what I'm getting. So you peel this down, 
or you panel it down and then you move it like this. This matches this, you have the joint. Yep, yeah, okay, we're good. Then after that, you wanna fold this. Oh no, oh okay, and divide it. All right, so you divide it and then you fold like this. There's no way to get this down without breaking. Well, I mean, they still connect, but I mean, it's not as smooth because this usually, I don't know, I guess, I guess it fits. All right, so we're like this now. Yay. Oh, so they want us to lift this a little bit, move this. See, I would have moved this before I would have moved the, the arms so that things like that don't happen. We'll plug it back later. All right, so lift this, plug this. Thank you very much for this wonderful instruction. All right, so now that we have this and this and this, uh, okay, they want it like that and then on the side. Okay, so we're going back to kind of robot mode And now oh, okay Take this like that open it Of course split it. I'll take the hand. Sorry. All right, you take the left hand and it's the same thing. Oh, that's a better peg though. That's a proper peg compared to the one that we had with, uh, okay, which way does the hand go? Use this way, so yeah. It rotates, we'll figure it out. All right, so like this and this. Okay, so once we have this, turn these around and you, nope. These don't go anywhere, they can't fold up, but these will. Huh. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so we have this, we have this, oh, and then just turn this like that. There you go, oh, I guess, hold back the, uh, fold in the landing gear. Okay, so this is, yeah, there you go. This works. So it's just gonna be a problem with the little panels everywhere, uh, you know, on the sides, the blades are gonna get in the way. This kind of just sits there. And, oh, oh, I have to get this out. Oh, simpler than it was for uh, blast off. So there you go. And I still don't know what to do with that yellow pin. You know, this thing here, no idea. Maybe it does nothing. Oh, and after that, I guess I should re-add the cannon underneath. There you go. All right. Well, there you go. That's that's a left arm, I guess. Yeah, it will. It's gonna look good. All right, so I'm gonna put it here. Take that out. I hope you've enjoyed this. So far, I'm actually happy with the limb of every figure. It's not bad. Um, I hope they all stand well together, clip well, and that he's solid on the shelf. Uh, we'll see. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back after I'm on the way and remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care!